UTF-7 7-bit Unicode transformation format is a variable length character encoding that was proposed for representing Unicode text using a stream of ASCII characters. It was originally intended to provide a means of encoding Unicode text for use in Internet email messages that was more efficient than the combination of UTF-8 with quoted printable. Topic. Motivation MIME, the modern standard of email format, forbids encoding of headers using byte values above the ASCII range. Although MIME allows encoding the message body in various character sets broader than ASCII, the underlying transmission infrastructure SMTP, the main email transfer standard, is still not guaranteed to be 8-bit clean. Therefore, a non-trivial content transfer encoding has to be applied in case of doubt. Unfortunately Base64 has a disadvantage of making even US ASCII characters unreadable in non-MIME clients. On the other hand, UTF-8 combined with quoted printable produces a very size inefficient format requiring 6 to 9 bytes for non-ASCII characters from the BMP and 12 bytes for characters outside the BMP. Provided certain rules are followed during encoding, UTF-7 can be sent in email without using an underlying MIME transfer encoding, but still must be explicitly identified as the text character set. In addition, if used within email headers such as subject, UTF-7 must be contained in MIME encoded words identifying the character set. Since encoded words force use of either quoted printable or base 64, UTF-7 was designed to avoid using the equal sign as an escape character to avoid double escaping when it is combined with quoted printable or its variant, the RFC 2047-1522, Q, encoding of headers. UTF-7 is generally not used as a native representation within applications as it is very awkward to process. Despite its size advantage over the combination of UTF-8 with either quoted printable or base 64, the now defunct Internet Mail Consortium recommended against its use. 8 BITMIME has also been introduced, which reduces the need to encode message bodies in a 7-bit format. A modified form of UTF-7, sometimes dubbed MUTF-7, is currently used in the IMAP email retrieval protocol for mailbox names. Topic. Description UTF-7 was first proposed as an experimental protocol in RFC 1642, a mail-safe transformation format of Unicode. This RFC has been made obsolete by RFC 2152, an informational RFC which never became a standard. As RFC 2152 clearly states, the RFC does not specify an Internet standard of any kind. Despite this, RFC 2152 is quoted as the definition of UTF-7 in the IANA's list of charsets. Neither is UTF-7 a Unicode standard. The Unicode standard 5.0 only lists UTF-8, UTF-16 and UTF-32. There is also a modified version, specified in RFC 2060, which is sometimes identified as UTF-7. Some characters can be represented directly as single ASCII bytes. The first group is known as direct characters and contains 62 alphanumeric characters and 9 symbols. The direct characters are safe to include literally. The other main group, known as optional direct characters, contains all other printable characters in the range U plus 0020 U plus 007 E except tilde plus and space. Using the optional direct characters reduces size and enhances human readability but also increases the chance of breakage by things like badly designed mail gateways and may require extra escaping when used in encoded words for header fields. Space, tab, carriage return and line feed may also be represented directly as single ASCII bytes. However, if the encoded text is to be used in email, care is needed to ensure that these characters are used in ways that do not require further content transfer encoding to be suitable for email. The plus sign plus may be encoded as plus. Other characters must be encoded in UTF-16, hence U plus 10000 and higher would be encoded into surrogates, big endian, hence higher order bits appear first, and then in modified base 64. The start of these blocks of modified base 64 encoded UTF-16 is indicated by a plus sign. The end is indicated by any character not in the modified base 64 set. 
If the character after the modified base 64 is a ASCII then it is consumed by the decoder and decoding resumes with the next character. Otherwise decoding resumes with the character after the base 64. Examples Hello, world is encoded as Hello, world. 1 plus 1 equals 2 is encoded as 1 plus 1 plus ADO2. 1 pound is encoded as plus AKM minus 1. The Unicode code point for the pound sign is U plus 00A3, which is 00A316 in UTF-16, which converts into modified base 64 as in the table below. There are two bits left over, which are padded to zero. Topic. Algorithm for encoding and decoding Topic. Encoding First, an encoder must decide which characters to represent directly in ASCII form, which plus has to be escaped as plus, and which to place in blocks of Unicode characters. A simple encoder may encode all characters it considers safe for direct encoding directly. However the cost of ending a Unicode sequence, outputting a single character directly in ASCII and then starting another Unicode sequence is 3 to 3 and 2 thirds bytes. This is more than the 2 and 2 thirds bytes needed to represent the character as a part of a Unicode sequence. Each Unicode sequence must be encoded using the following procedure, then surrounded by the appropriate delimiters. Using the pound U plus 00A3 U plus 2020 character sequence as an example, Topic. Decoding First an encoded data must be separated into plain ASCII text chunks including plus ES followed by a dash and non-empty Unicode blocks as mentioned in the description section. Once this is done, each Unicode block must be decoded with the following procedure using the result of the encoding example above as our example express each base 64 code as the bit sequence it represents, Akia 000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000
This can be used for a cross-site scripting attack as the marks can be encoded as plus ADW and plus AD4 in UTF-7, which most validators let through as simple text. References See also Comparison of Unicode encodings <references>